Hi, I am Rolf Klesen, patent attorney in Cologne, Germany, and today we are talking about an open source project PQAI, a search engine that is AI driven. And my guest today is Sam Zellner. If you don't know who Sam Zellner is, he is a telecommunications industry veteran and he is at AT&T and he has a long career at AT&T and he's a prolific inventor of many patents at AT&T and also happened to manage the patent portfolio of AT&T. And he is now heading a project PQAI. Um, thank you very much for being on the show, Sam. <laughs> well, thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it, Doctor. So maybe um, if I've forgotten anything, uh, tell, uh, tell the audience maybe a little bit about yourself and how how you got involved with PQAI and what PQAI is. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, I'm a prolific inventor, and so I've gone through the invention process quite a bit. I also, within my career at AT&T, worked with hundreds of inventors. And from that experience, I just saw the frustration that people had in terms of inventing. It's, uh, it's already challenging enough coming up with new ideas, but there weren't tools there that really made it uh, easier for inventors. A lot of tools are set up for the professional searcher, the professional patent attorney, but not much uh, for the, the common, I'll call it the common inventor. So that got us thinking, saying, what can we do to make it better? Uh, also, you know, there's a lot of studies been done in terms of the access uh, to innovation and how a lot of people don't have access to innovation. So we are not seeing the, the distribution or the diversity in uh, innovation that we should be. You know, recent studies have shown that the representation of women within patents is far below what it should be. So we looked at uh, the opportunity, uh, we looked at other open source initiatives and how they've provided access to people. And we thought maybe the same thing could be applied in the intellectual property uh, innovation space. Yeah, exciting. Um, and um, the, in the name is um, AI. So talk a little bit about uh, how sure. AI comes into play. So why did sure. you do you use AI and how does the AI engine work in your case? Um, I think it's a distributed system where a lot of people can have actually PQAI servers and they are all interconnected, right? That's correct. Now, um, it just again, I don't think we're marketing experts here, so I apologize. But uh, <laughs> so PQ stands for patent quality and AI is for artificial intelligence. And we thought one of the big sort of uh, inflection points here was the fact that you can use AI to help you search. Uh, most people are familiar with the, the Boolean search engines, which are, are very complicated to use because you have to pick the right word and you have a, these complex strings of, of words and, and restrictions. And that's just, uh, you know, for the common inventor, that's just too much. And we see that AI has the ability if you train it properly to help you bridge that gap. So when you say wireless, the system knows you might mean Bluetooth, you might mean uh, uh, 5G, you know, a lot of different options there, but you don't have to worry about that as, a, as an inventor. The system's smart enough to look at uh, different documents and, and sort of interpret what you mean. Okay, so why don't we try that out, huh? Let's see. Sure. Let's let's give this. Let's, let's give it a switch run. to the real real deal here. Uh, so <laughs> there's a button. Try searching with PQAI. So I just try, right? So right. Right. we open this website, the search engine. Let's see. And then uh, we already have a sample search here, flying car. Maybe that's the well, that's the one that I last some, uh, entered. <laughs> let's do something novel. No pun intended. Right, right, here. right. Uh, so look, suggest first, something. First, let me give you a little orientation. Um, so again, we're using AI. So now you have a box here in which you can just put in your idea. You can just write it out as you think about it. Um, don't, don't worry about you know, selecting all the different word possibilities. That's, that's gone. Um, you'll also see that we have something called rooms, which is essentially like tabs on your browser. We know that a lot of inventors like trying out different things. And so we provide you different rooms as you jump around with your different ideas. So um, let's, let's, I always tell inventors, take something that you're passionate about when you're trying to invent, because that makes it just that much more interesting. You know, one of the things I'm passionate about is my dog. <laughs> and, and 
I know this sounds a little strange, but to, um, I worry about my dog and and what my dog does all day long. Uh, of course, I should be worrying about myself, but I, I worry about the dog. And so I thought maybe a wireless dog collar or, or just keep it a dog collar that, that can uh, you know, has the ability to track the movement of the dog. So a dog collar, the ability to track the movement of the dog. And track so the we'll... movement of the dog. Should I yeah. skip it? Um... A uh, dog, not dog. <laughs> yeah. Dog and so, dog collar and wireless. I should keep out wireless. Just uh, we let's not bother. We, let's, we won't worry about wireless. Yeah, we just okay. It's a dog collar. So yeah. like this dog collar that can what? track the movement of the dog. Yep. Okay. So let's see if it keep finds it simple like that. Finds prior art. Okay. Okay. So let's. First, let's let's just understand a little bit. I'll give you a little orientation here. We're going through right now. The system has about 22 million documents, so it's a, it's evenly split between patent U.S. patent applications and patents and scholarly or what we call non-patent literature. So that's what it's searching through. Um, you'll you'll see that um, we're talking about 102 there. If you look at the left, 102 type yes, of searching. Yeah. And, and this is a technical term uh, within the patent office that you, the patent examiner is going to cite um, when they find prior art, uh, a document that has your idea completely. So it's it, they, what they call it's anticipated. So the, the examiner will give you a 102 rejection. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We're doing a 102 type search here. And um, if, you, if you go down a little bit there, you, you can see uh, what we show you is something called, um, well, first of all, you can see whether it's a patent or non-patent literature. Mm -hmm. um, you can see, uh, you see something called tech buckets. This is, uh, we're, we're grouping the technology into uh, techno technology classes. So you can see sort of where the search engine's looking in the sense of groupings. Um, this can be helpful in terms of understanding uh, what areas your your idea might fall in because certain ideas fall in different areas. And I think even in this case, you'll see that. Then what you have also to the right here um, is we've taken the top 200 hits uh, documents here uh, and we've sort of showed you a, a plot of their, um, their filing or creation dates on them. So you can sort of see how the flow is here of your idea. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that all the ideas are centered just on this. It could be that it mentioned your idea in it. But you can see there's been a lot of activity. I guess a lot of people are concerned about their dogs in recent years. And so a lot of people have been thinking in this area. And then we also provide you just a, a, a sort of brief on who are behind the assignees or the, the, the creators of these documents. So you just get an overview. This is, this is helpful if you're, you're wondering who might be interested in your idea or who's thinking about your idea. This is just some background piece here. So now let's let's click on one of the the, the first piece here. Okay. Um, and so what you see is we're providing you the abstract of the idea. It's just a, sort of brief, and we've taken in this case we've taken the first image off the the, the patent application. Um, we also show you here who you know who's it's assigned to uh, the the date. Um, there also so that's just sort of an orientation here um helps you just get a flavor for the document but what we do which is really different from um all the other search engines out here is what you see in the sort of the greenish box there is your concept and then what the system has done is tried to pull out from that document those components that relate to your idea the 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 key thing here is what we're trying to do with pqai which is not done with uh, the other search engines. We're trying to make the search on, and checking on the novelty or originality of your idea simple and quick. It's not going to be the complete end-all, be-all search, but you can get a quick idea of saying, is this, is this worth my time and effort? Uh, or has other people thought about it? And if they have, maybe you can learn something from where, you know, where they've gone with it. So you, you can see this is sort of sort of uh, like your idea, but, but maybe not completely. So let's, we, we, 
we what we do is we pull only 10 ideas out, 10 documents out of this. You might say, well, only 10, you know, some of the other engines should show me 200. And that's the problem. Once you start getting to large number of documents, you know, it's too much for you to really quickly go through. So we, our goal is to find 10 documents that are closest to your piece that can help you understand whether it's novel or not. And so we can go through these and see, you know, does this seem like our idea? Does it seem like it's it's novel? And, you know, un unfortunately, it, it doesn't seem too promising for us here. It seems like there, there's there's some already some good thoughts about tracking um, my dog and, and what that dog does. And we can go down to the next one and look a little bit more about it. See, and so, so you can see how, you know, people are trying to um, address this movement of the dog. Okay. So, so, so this, this is one okay. with, with like electrical shocks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Some people are a little <laughs> bit mean. I, I would hope, uh, you know, even though I, you know, tracking the dog, I don't, I don't want to be cruel <laughs> to the dog. It's, it's, uh, um, so, you know, what you do in the inventing process, you say, okay, um, now I got a sense of the art. Maybe I need to go back and, and, and check it again and, and modify it. So we can go back up to the top here and look at our idea and say, what about um, uh, something about and monitor the health of my dog? Okay. So we can add in health. We can add in new concepts. Like this and monitor the health of the dog? Right. Mm -hmm. Something like this? Yeah. Okay, let's hit search. Find prior art, not search. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. So should I click on the first one? So you can click on the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Animal wearing. So, I, 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 so that's this, the same one as the last one, right? Yeah. So we haven't really changed that much. And I don't know if that one's complete. Now, I'm not sure if that's really completely our idea, right? It's, it's not completely yeah. our idea. It's so, not. So, you know, again, the, the tool is going to try and find things that are related to our idea. They don't always find things mm -hmm. that are completely our idea. And this is where it's sort of nice, where we have the quick summary here we can see and we'd say no that that isn't completely our idea mm -hmm. so we can go down to the next one and the next and one looks much see. more promising in the title yeah. at least tracking health and location of pets it, but even even that uh, you know i'm not sure if it really has the full flavor of our our health piece here mm -hmm. so you know we can go on to the next one and see you know maybe the next one has more um, mm -hmm. that's maybe not sufficient. So you can go through this is, and this is the process that we recommend you do is you go through and you look through each one and you go back and forth, looking at what things have covered and changing your idea, uh, to get it better, uh, more accurate, maybe more, you know, diverse from what's already there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we do, if you go back, if you look over to the left there, you'll see um, right to the left, the sidebar, uh, the left, go to your left. Uh, to the uh, left, uh, sorry. Left. Yeah. Here, left, not there, right. You can see <laughs> your, your search history. Search history, query, query timeline. Yeah, timeline, I'm sorry, timeline. Yeah, yeah. See, and what we do is, and we haven't done much here, but we'll keep track of what you, how you've changed your search. Now, this is all kept on your computer, so nobody else can see it. But it helps understand, you know, when you're adding new components, taking components away, you might find that uh, what I've added didn't help, or what it, you know, maybe I was better off before, and you can go back. So just, mm -hmm. you know, some tools we're trying to, you know, provide to the the innovator to make it a little bit easier to to understand what you've done and perfect your, your invention. Mm -hmm. So then, then you click off that. 
then one other piece we have here, which I'll be honest with you, we're still trying to develop because it's very hard. If you go back up to the top, you see the, the filters on the right side up in the blue. So we, we allow you the standard capabilities of controlling where, you know, the date in which you're searching. But we also have this other thing called 102 and 103. And like I said, we've been doing 102, which is a single document that has your idea. Mm -hmm. 103 is what we call uh, obviousness search, and that's uh, obviousness rejection, which is, again, a U.S. term that the, the patent office uses, and they reference it as 103. Um, uh, I think in Europe, it's the inventive step. But the, the, the idea here is this is also a very common uh, rejection you'll have. And, and this is much more complicated. Most inventors aren't even aware of it. It's the fact that the the examiner can combine multiple documents to get your idea. So if in this case, you couldn't find anything, when we went through the documents, it said it tracked a dog, but there was nothing about a medical, uh, the medical health of the dog, then they could pull another document that says, hey, here's a, a watch that does medical health. And it would have been obvious to bring medical health into the dog collar and get your idea. So we're working on that. I'll be honest with you, it's not to the point where we're, uh, it, it's a, a caliber that we'd expect, um, but this is what you do with uh, open source projects. And we hope there's some developers out there that are gonna give us some hand, you know, help in developing uh, this capability further. But that's and, really and exciting I should... because I, I don't know any other tool that uses, uh, that can provide this kind of search. Right, right. And we see since this is the most frequent uh, office action rejection uh, at the patent office, then you know it, it just seems natural that you'd have a tool to be able to, to do that. Should so I try we, to we apply this to the search? I'm sorry? Should I try to re to apply this to you the search? You can try it. I'll, I'll caution we'll you. We'll try I'm... just to see. <laughs> I know it's not okay. perfect yet, but I just want to get an impression like how, sure, how sure. it's uh, looking like. So, so you, yeah, you say, just, for, yeah. for example, this is a 103 combination. You have right. like a, an electronic pet collar system for tracking health and an animal tracking system that can be combined to give the Right, idea. so they're, tr they're trying to get the, the tracking and, and the health components combined there to get to it. Right. And, they, and in this case, what we're doing, you, you'll see, is we have mappings for each of the documents, and, and that's... Uh, mm -hmm. Or we're working on the design of that so that would it would create a combined uh, sort of claim chart mapping. Mm. There. Okay. For and, example, and, here and physical would... condition monitoring. Yeah, monitoring cattle monitoring for illness and leash system also seems quite interesting combination. So not so bad. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's work in progress, and like, like we said, nobody else is doing this yet. So it's uh, it's the only place you can get at least an attempt at, at doing this capability. Very cool. And, and I should say what we're doing here. This is you know the PQI search is an example of uh, an open source library of intellectual property tools and innovation tools that were components we're building. So the uh, thought here is that. Search might be one area, that, but there could be a lot of other applications with these components we're building. And we're excited about how people use these components to build other types of tools. Mm -hmm. We also have within the roadmap, we're going to have a, a report that will be generated through PQAI so that inventors can take this report and go to their patent attorney, go to maybe a, a venture capitalist, uh, somebody interested in the idea, and in some way provide some sort of uh, documentation mm -hmm. as to the originality or novelty of your idea. Right. And you Which said again, this is something we, we haven't seen in any other tool. Yes, that's true. And you say this tool is completely free. It's open source. Anyone can use it, right? That's right. It's, so it's and it's it's uh, geared toward the layman inventors who don't know much about patent law and they can just enter their idea in natural language and then they get uh, they get a really good first impression like if their idea is new or not that's right and and so the, the beauty of it is is you know 
I believe that most inventors can come up with lots of ideas. And before you, you know, uh, bore your friends, or <laughs> labor your, your idea, or push your ideas on your friends, you know, you go to PQI, try it out and see how novel it is. And that way, you know, you know if it's something that's already been invented, you, you don't, you don't, you know, oppress you, you know, push your friends and listening to, uh, uh, Yes, oh, and, right. and these results are only stored on the computer of the user, right? That's right. This is completely private. Uh, right. We aren't advertising or anything like that with your ideas. They're just on, on Much your different system. from, for example, Google Patents or something like this. <laughs> well, <laughs> there are other systems that uh, uh, might, uh, might uh, not quite have the privacy levels that we do. Right. Yes, uh, very mm -hmm. exciting. So... Um, Yes, so if people are interested in PQAI, of course, they should go to um, pqai.ai, projectpq.ai, sorry, projectpq.ai. And if they have questions uh, for you, um, can they reach you uh, somehow? Yes, uh, they can email me at sam at projectpq.ai. Very good. And we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear feedback, uh, uh, thoughts, ideas. Um, I'm getting a lot of uh, ideas already coming in, and we're trying to, you know, put them into the development timeline. Yes, and, and if you're a developer, if there are any developers out there, right? Uh, you know, if there's any developers out there, please let us know. We we definitely welcome uh, developers. Very good. And we Very have, cool. I should say, we have a, a forum. If you go up to the upper left there, there's we have a forum right yes. there that you can uh, participate on. And and also you know put your questions up there too. Oh, I need to, I need to voice. enter first, so I don't yeah. do that now. But, but I understand. But it's so there. You, so you can create an account in the forum, and then you can discuss with other people. Right. Yep. Very cool. Well. Well, well. Thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for being on the show and talking about PQAI. Very exciting. And uh, I'm very happy that you came onto the show and that you had the time to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Okay. So to our listeners and viewers, if you are new to this channel and you want to learn more about patents, trademarks and designs, please subscribe to this channel here below this video. If you want to check out PQII, go to www.projectpq.ai and find out more about it. The email of Sam is uh, linked under this video in the description. And as always, protect your intellectual property and go make it count. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.